Good morning, friends. So while I'm sitting in traffic, I was like, you know what? Since I didn't sleep last night because of the bump, let's go ahead and do a little Pregnancy Chronicles car vlog. So obviously, I need to get a new um, mount to hang in here. But I just want to tell you guys, I salute all the women, okay? All the women who have kids back to back, stair steps, the women who glow during pregnancy because that does not exist in either one of my pregnancies. Okay, this ain't my first rodeo, guys. I've been pregnant before. I know what it's like to be pregnant. But let me tell you what they don't tell you. They don't tell you that you're gonna throw up 24 seven. No one tells you about all of the freaking bladder infections you're gonna get. Oh, and this is something that people don't wanna talk about, but I'm gonna tell you, cause I keep it real. Honey, let me tell you, you're gonna get a yeast infection if you don't consider yourself lucky, okay? But on my baby forum, I am so happy to know that I am not the only one who was thinking that what is wrong with my hoo-ha, okay? Because my hoo-ha was just fine before this, and now my hoo-ha is just going through a lot of changes. But it's your pH levels, okay? Don't worry. Don't stress about it. Oh, and let's not forget about the ping, okay? I sweat so much in my sleep. Last night was one of the nights that I jumped up screaming like, Oh my God, I peed on myself. I peed. Oh my God, I peed on myself. So I literally have to like feel all over my body. And I'm like filling the sheets to make sure that, you know, there's not like a mountain of piss under me. But it's not. It's just sweat. And I'm just like... I'm sweating and I don't sleep with underwear guys okay I know this might be t TMI but I just want to tell you guys the truth behind pregnancy you know why I don't sleep in underwear because it takes too much work when you're running to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you are thinking you're barely gonna make it because this kid thinks that your bladder is a freaking mattress and they don't want to move like I must be having, my bladder must be like a $10,000 mattress in there. I, no lie. Cause like, that's where this kid's sleeping and won't move. So let me tell you, I, I just don't get it. Like what's up with the pain? But then you got to stay hydrated because you can't get dehydrated. Then I'm like the queen of bladder infections apparently. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? But it's nothing that you're doing wrong. You're doing everything right. It's just your body and these levels and your body's going through all of these changes. And it's absolutely crazy because no one tells you this. No one wants to talk about this stuff because people might be slightly embarrassed. They, want, they don't want people to know. I ain't embarrassed because you know why because this shit apparently happens to a lot of people and it's just like hidden on the baby forum but no one like talks about it you know like publicly at least I haven't seen any videos on it because I sure did google like what is wrong with my hoo-ha y'all so anywho I was just like does anybody else go through what I'm going through like seriously I made a video on Instagram this morning. I woke up at 2 o'clock this morning. I think I went to bed at 9 something. Yeah, it was after 9 because I do try to go to bed early. Because we all know because I ain't going to sleep that long. Because I get up to pee every like 3 to 4 minutes it seems like. And then, you know, I woke up and thought I peed on myself. Which is normal because I always think I pee on myself. But really I'm just sweating. And I don't understand why I'm sweating so much. But I'm just hot. I'm just hot, hot, hot. So anyways, then this is the crazy thing. So I had a bladder infection recently, which wasn't my first. And, you know, you have to take antibiotics for that. But then us as women know that once you take antibiotics, it's like a domino effect. After you take an antibiotic, you get a yeast infection because antibiotics give you yeast infections. And then you got to take medicine for yeast infections. But come to find out my antibiotic did not give me a yeast infection at least we don't think so we think it was just because of my pH levels and then they say stay away from sweets because 
it's not good to eat more sweets when you have yeast infection. Now, what does this kid crave? Sweets, brownies, cupcakes, ice cream. Even when I went to my last doctor's appointment, I had lost half a pound, which I don't know. I don't understand that. He's like, I need you to double up on your calorie intake. You need to eat more. And so we had a whole discussion of what I eat. And I was like, well, I like brownies and ice cream. He goes, is this sugar-free? And I was like, no. He goes, eat an extra bowl, okay? So I'm like, when I went to the doctor last week, and the nurse practitioner's like, okay, you got to stay away from sweets. I'm like, seriously? Y'all, let me tell y'all. It ain't all like glowing and I appreciate those comments that tell me that I'm beautiful and I'm glowing and I'm just like really because like some days I wonder if I even remember to put my deodorant on. I got straight pregnancy brain. I mean trust me being pregnant is a beautiful thing and you feel these wonderful kicks and you bond with the baby. It is beautiful and I would not trade it. But let me tell you, this is for all the mamas out there and all the pregos who don't know the behind the scenes of what goes on and the domino effect and the true life. I just want to know in the comments, how many times did you get up to pee a night? Because I swear, I pee every seven minutes almost. I am not kidding. Even when I go to work, they laugh at me. They're like, I was like, I'm going to go pee again. Like, I literally, last week, and, you know, it's very often, I literally walk to go pee. By the time I wash my hands and walk out the door, <laughs> I turn around and I go pee again. And I'm like, I laugh because I'm like, well, did I not pee everything that I had to pee out the first time? So, I don't know. I just thought, like, wow, this is just really... There's other moms out there that are struggling like me, okay? I'm just going to admit it in a video. I'm with y'all, girls. I'm with y'all. And if you aren't pregnant and trying to get pregnant, I really do hope you get pregnant soon. I really hope that your pregnancy is, like, a glowing, perfect experience. But if it's not, and it's like this honey I warned you all right guys so that is it for my pregnancy chronicles and probably my TMI but hey what I'm going through is definitely not my fault okay I'm a clean person I, I make sure that I'm clean 24 7 okay but what I'm going through I just cannot help it it is my body and my body's reaction to pregnancy and my hormones and my pH levels and all that other good shit they tell you about that you don't know about until you get to that point and then the fact also oh I forgot to mention this my nurse came and she was like you know the older we get and our bodies are just not what they used to be when they're younger. So, you know, sometimes she goes, I was just like you. So my nurse had kids later in life as well. I love my nurse. She's so sweet. The one that comes to my house and gives me my Makina injections. But yeah, I just was like, she was just like, we were laughing together about it because I was just like, what's wrong with me? Oh, and let me just tell y'all, I got bit by a freaking, I don't know what it was on Saturday when I went out of town I was going to my family reunion but I didn't make it because something bit me and I'm deathly allergic to ants and so I ended up having to hurry and call the doctor because my eyes started watering like my foot was swollen and we were hoping it wasn't an ant but thank god it wasn't because my throat didn't close and they said that I could take a 25 milligram of Benadryl well, that wiped me out. So I didn't even make it to my family reunion. I stayed at Boothang's sister's house and I just slept. But yeah, so yeah, that was my eventful weekend. But, you know, baby boo is just feeling great all up in there. Just kicking and, you know, we're just, we're just enjoying, we're enjoying the ride in my $10,000 mattress that she's sleeping on. But yeah, guys, so drop your comments because I do read them and I want to know if you guys are going through what I'm going through or if you just like 
don't want to talk about it because you're embarrassed or if you're one of the ones that laugh and you throw up and when you do you pee <laughs> yeah that's me all right have a wonderful monday thank you so much for watching my car vlog and i will see you guys in my next video and i am so sorry if this is tmi but i keep it real on my channel okay i ain't pretending about shit i am keeping it real bye